Okay, folks, look, this is number four of Soul Food Sunday, right? I'm gonna keep it real simple and I'm gonna keep it close to your heart. Today, we are doing smothered chicken. Let's get it. Now, if you guys come on in, you know, take a look at what we got here. For once, when I say we don't have a whole lot of ingredients, tell me what you see right here. Real simple, easy on the pocket. We got some veggies, some, you know, some, some dry ingredients, butter, and this right here, everybody know, this would be that chicken stock, right? So anytime you use water, you know what I'm saying? We gotta go ahead and just level up the game and go with some like chicken stock or chicken broth. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna take the chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and brown it, all right? So look, the first thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some heat on my skillet, right? This is cast iron, heat's under the bottom of this, right? And listen, when it comes to the, the cast iron, it's got to heat up the bottom and then it has to, you know, spray it all the way out to the side. Now, what you just heard is I'm preheating my oven. As you can see, it's 350 degrees. You wanna do that now, because when I tell you this goes together, the assembly of this goes together real fast, it really does. So I'm gonna make my room. Now, if you look right here, I got a whole chicken. I just wanna show you guys, you guys can use a whole chicken, you know, cut it down. This would be the most inexpensive way to do it. This whole meal probably costs less than, uh, 20 bucks and then you can feed uh, at least six people off of it right but i got some chicken legs you know some uh, drumsticks and i got some thighs i leave the skin on all of that because that's going to help you know flavor everything all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead you know and season our chicken right so i'm going to just put this in here let's get all of that we need to get all of our flavor now i got a level up for you it just so happened to be is from my level up series you know what i mean but this right here this is my a seasoning this is great when I tell you, you know, great when it goes on chicken, if you're looking for that ooh-wee, that's it right there. Now, because I'm gonna be doing some browning, check this out, I'm not gonna go ahead and uh, put no black pepper on it, cause you know the black pepper kinda like gives it that dark look. So, this would be enough right here. You see that? Now I'm gonna go in here, and we're just gonna sprinkle this on here just like that. I'm getting ready to check on my, my skillet. It seems to be right. I'm gonna use my garlic infused olive oil. Go ahead and just spread this on here. Just give it about a tablespoon and a half. And as this, you know, heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and just massage this in on all of the chicken. All right, so look, you can see it. Look, it's right about at its smoke point, right? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my chicken down, right? When it comes to the thighs, I'm gonna start with the skin side down. Now remember we browning, so we gotta use a little bit of our brain. The fire is completely in the center right here on this little gas stove that I'm using, right? So I don't want it to be like super ugly. So I look at it this way. This can take a little bit more. We'll go ahead and look at that. We just start rotating, you know, our drums. What we're doing is putting a little color on it and a little bit of flavor and we're leaving a little fine in there so we can make that gravy, folks. All right, so look, I'm gonna show you how I'm getting ready to do this, right? I'm gonna just cut off just this little bit right here, right? Now what I wanna do is, I just wanna cut these down like this. And just notice, I want them like this so that I can go and do that. Cause actually this is gonna be the bed of what my chicken is gonna lay on top of, right? Almost like we making onion rings. All right, so I got my little 13 by nine, right? I'm spraying it because my chicken is about ready to come out and we don't want nothing to stick, right? All right, so now I'm getting ready to just take my bell pepper. You got it now? We just making a little bit of a bed, right? And then I take my onions and I just put them out just like you see. All right, so let me show you the magic, right? You see that right there? You just wanna put some color. Look at that flavor that's on all of that, right? So I'll just take them and now I'll just start putting them that way. Now I got a couple of other pieces. I wasn't gonna do it, but I think I'm gonna do it. Now, if I was thinking like the average family is probably like four, you know what I mean? So this will feed you. Okay, so you can look, chicken look great already, right? But remember, it's not cooked. We just put a little sear on there, put a little flavor on there, right? Because we are gonna smother it. Now, when we do our chicken stock or chicken, you know, broth, listen, we just wanna pour it on here, you know, pour it in here. Now, here's the key. You don't wanna pour it on top of the chicken. We don't wanna lose none of the flavor that we just, you know, put on there in our seasoning, right? So I just find me a little piece right here that doesn't touch nothing. And look, when it sweats down and some of that Fat from the, ooh, my goodness, I can barely talk. So we finna cover this, you know what I mean? Put this in the oven and we gonna go about 35 minutes. Okay, so look, it's been 35 minutes. Ooh, look at that right there. 
Now, you want to have a meat thermometer, right? If you guys pay attention, I'm going to go in here like that. Oh, it's nice and tender. It's already at what? Look, see it rising, 171. But it's going to cool a little bit because we still going to have to, you know, make this gravy and then we're going to cook it with the gravy, right? So let me go ahead and get my tones. And what I'm going to do is you just follow me out and hear me out. Now you guys see why I see her. You do not have to sear, it's up to you. But I like to sear mine because I don't want my skin to be so rubbery, you know? All right, so you see we set up here. You gotta have some type of container to, you know, put up your chicken, right? Because we're not gonna deal with that as of yet. It's still gonna stay hot, but if you pay attention to this right here, look, this is what we want, right? So I need to get myself this pot holder and I'm gonna do something might seem a little crazy to you right off the bat, right? First thing I'm gonna do is melt my butter. All right. This picks up everything, you know, in the pan, right? Or should I say my skillet? Now I'm gonna start coming with my flour. We just gonna cook some of that flour taste out, right? That's what that butter is gonna help us do. Then if you wanna assist it, you can always add yourself some of that olive oil. So once this cooks for maybe about like one minute, I went about a minute and a half, right? It's, you know, we making really like a root. So I'm gonna take this, I got my little strainer, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this inside of here like this. But look at that gravy right there. You know you guys are chomping at the bit right now for this, All right? So don't forget, we had a little bit of extra seasoning. We gonna add that to it too. But you see where we going with it now, all right? Now, we don't want this to be so thick, you know what I mean? Because listen, it's still gonna render a little bit more fat inside of this once I put the, everything back inside. Now, I'm gonna go in here. I'm not gonna put my, my bell peppers in there, but I'm gonna come back with my onions. Now you guys got it, because look, for me, it's really about the presentation, and because I'm making a video, we want this gravy to look the best, right? All right, folks, <laughs> that right there is nice. Now, I'm gonna move this out the way so you guys can see. Remember I had this right here? I love onion, and we just finna go in just, for, you know, for a little while longer, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add this, right? And then you know what it is. You know what the name of this video here is, right? It's smothered, right? Smothered chicken. Now that we getting ready to smother, I just wanna let you know, this right here keeps it nice. Look at that right there. Whoo, my goodness. I don't have to say too much more or nothing. I can just go, I'm gonna give you the formula. We're getting ready to go back in the oven. We still at 350, right? And what we're gonna do is let this go for about 20 minutes uncovered. You know what I mean? Let this sweat down, whatever is gonna sweat down. Okay, folks, not to pat myself on the back, but when we say smothered chicken, this is what we're talking about right here, right? So I got myself a bed of rice, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull one of these stars out of here. And I like this one with the, you know, with the, oh my goodness, I can barely talk, right? But I was gonna say one of these ones that have the onion on there. You know what I mean? So we'll just put that down in there like that. And then I'm gonna take one of these magnificent, and I don't know if I ever said that word ever in my life, but I am now. Check it out. And we just put it there. Right, I'm gonna kinda like just push them down. Just leave it like that. Now I got a ladle on here, folks, because this is what you guys wanna see, right? So everybody wanna know like, hey, you. sometimes they tell me, AB, you didn't make enough gravy, so here we go. You see that right there? I'm gonna pour it on your side. Oh my goodness. Now check this out. I don't need no steak knife or nothing like that. You know what, how I wanna cut this? I just go in here like this. You know what I mean, and we just, Run this in here like that. Now that's kind of like a big piece because I want to get some of that rice too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in here. And then I want you guys to notice, listen at my voice. How come whenever we do something that's that on that ooh wee status, we get to talking soft and all of that. Sound like late night Barry White. Now I know I'm telling my age because some of y'all out there listening to this, you don't even know who Barry White is. But those of you guys that do know, check it out. Cheers, baby. Mm. Okay, folks, look. 
you see it. Ain't really nothing to talk about, right? So check it out. It was written all over my face. Now, if you guys go to www.smokingandgrillingwithab, that's W-I-T-A-B.com for a printable recipe. And don't forget, it's the holidays, right? I got all the recipes on there and I'm putting them up daily trying to, you know, get caught up. So with that being said, listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I'm going to thank all of you guys that are new to the channel. You know what to do. Subscribe, like, and guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.